Alrighty, so I have quite the update on um, Kings Island and their 2020 project. Um, to get the video started though, there isn't much to update you on in terms of land clearing. So there's been no change in terms of the size of the land clearing plot, but I do want to start off and let you guys know that is very normal. So in every project I've seen at Canada's Wonderland, again, that's my home park. That is why there's a lot of content and that's all I know currently. Um, Behemoth, Leviathan, and Yukon Striker was land cleared in sections. So they work on the station, lift hill, and drop section first and break run. So they'll clear that land. Um, and then they'll start land clearing and building the other sections as they go. We saw that especially with Yukon Striker. So don't worry, calm down, don't panic. This is very normal. The land clearing will grow. Um, and uh, based off of everything we've seen from Midway Mayhem and their photos at the uh, Clearmount factory, uh, it is definitely a Kings Island giga in my opinion. I definitely am expecting that and we will see land clearing grow. Um, two names were just trademarked by Cedar Fair. So Polaris and Orion were trademarked and those two names are very interesting. I'm going to go over that in just a second. They actually have to do with the teasers last year. So if you remember the teaser posters on Flight of Fear, um, they had this Santa poster with uh, the star constellations and uh, delivering gifts or such. Um, but uh, it definitely with these two names trademarked, that has me thinking that was definitely a teaser for this year. Um, or sorry, 2020, that was posted last year. And these names are definitely linked to the new coaster. I think Polaris is going to be the name of the new coaster. It just makes more sense. Um, it is 323 um, light years away from Earth. So maybe we're looking at a height of 323 feet and there'll be a trench and ends up being close to like the 330s, 340s in terms of height of drop. Um, or maybe they'll keep it lower than Fury, which I really don't think. Again, if you saw my previous video, Cedar Fair is known to break their own records to prevent other companies coming in um, and taking the record from them. So it just makes more sense that this is going to be a record-breaking um, Giga Coaster. And I definitely think um, that we're looking at something probably 323 feet tall if they're going to use that as a an actual thing. Maybe Polaris isn't going to be that in-depth in terms of height. Maybe they're just like the name. Um, but I definitely think this is going to be around 330, 340 in terms of height or at least drop. Um, but that being said, uh, they've cleared out the land. So all the trees and roots look like they're gone. They bulldoze the land really flat um, other than a few little dips in the land. And I have a feeling uh, within the next two weeks, we might start to see some markers and uh, some maybe early signs of footings possibly coming in the near future. That will be really exciting. Um, definitely super excited for this project. Um, again, uh, <laughs> definitely looks like it's going to be a very massive project. We have those new images from Midway Mayhem. Adrenaline and Obsession has provided the footage. I will link all these people down below. Um, and a huge thank you uh, for um, letting me use your picture. I'm going to link her down below as well. Um, but uh, she does not know anything about the project. She just wanted me to make sure that uh, she wasn't providing any insight on the project at all. Just letting me use a picture she took last year. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick construction update on King's Island for the previous week that's occurred. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.